Okay, so let's download Perlin Noise. Uh, this is kind of uh, uh, this is the easiest way that I found how to download it and get access to it in Grasshopper. I'm sure there are better ways. Uh, I just go to I just uh, Perlin Noise is not a part of the uh, Python standard library, so that means you'll have to download it and uh, uh, to get access to it. So I just uh, just put Perlin Noise into Python. This should pop up. Uh, go there. Uh, uh, Casey Duncan wrote this uh, module. Uh, I downloaded uh, the noise uh, for the one that I have. Uh, it was 1.2.1 zip. So I have it on my uh, desktop here. I go in. Uh, what we want is the text out of this component. Uh, so all uh, so um, what I did was I just copy and pasted that onto the the desktop, um, and then I'm going to give it a different name because I already have it in there, so it'll uh, be clear. Re rename Perlin Noise. I'm just going to go A A A or Perlin A, uh, just so uh, you can uh, see. Okay, so what we want to do now is go into uh, our uh, Rhino, and we want to edit Python script, and we want to make a new one, make a new script, and uh, so now that we have this opened, we need to get the text out of this and into there, so I'm going to uh, go to Word Pad and I'm going to I'm going to open Uh, Perlin A. So this gives us uh, the text. So I'm going to uh, select all and copy that and then go back into Rhino. And I'm going to paste that in. So now that you have it pasted in, you can look at it and read through it and uh, kind of get a general idea how, how it works. Uh, I'll cover, cover how it works in the next video. Um, so now we need to save it. Right now it's untitled, so we're going to go File, Save As, uh, for, I already have it saved. Um, I've, I've done what I just did, and I have saved it as Perlin Pi. So just, uh, just go ahead and save it. Um, I'll delete it later, but I'll do... Perlin a dot pi, and you always want to do the dot pi. Okay, so we have Perlin a dot pi, and it's saved. So now when we go into our Python script, we can uh, import uh, Perlin a as p let's see if this gives us a bug or not so it uh, execution completed successfully so that gives us uh, access to the the code that we need um, in the future uh, lectures and uh, if anybody knows a better way of doing this um, please let me know put up a, a video if you can